My name is Larissa Tormi, and you're all very welcome to my music and my story show, where I help to promote my friends, fellow musicians. And today, the guest of my show, Eric John Kaiser from USA. Lentement, octobre s'éteint. L'été a été long. Toujours les mêmes refrains. Cette fois, il s'en va pour le bon. My name is Larissa Tormi. I'm an Irish based singer, songwriter, and I am helping my friends, independent musicians, to promote their music in Ireland and UK and to other countries as well. And today I'm talking to a very, very unusual now singer, songwriter, French troubadour. The guy, your name is Eric John Kaiser, and yeah. you're based in America, Oregon, is it? Portland, Oregon, yeah. Portland, Oregon, yeah. But you're Coast. French, kind of French, because I was going through your albums and the half of them in French, so you sing in two languages. Yes, I, I spent 33 years in Paris, uh, where I grew up, and then in 2006, I moved to Portland, Oregon uh, from Paris on the west coast of the United States, which is about three hours south of Seattle, uh, mm -hmm. 12 hours north of San Francisco. Because I met a girl from Portland, Oregon, who was on vacation in Paris. So, I kind I, of, I kind of guessed, Eric, that 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 was love. What brought you there? Yes, <laughs> I, love and music. 
because I am originally from Russia too, and the same circumstances brought me to Ireland 20 years ago. So uh, I was kind of guessing when you go that far, especially from Paris, it must be love. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. So it was 2006, Eric, was it? Yep, yep. So yeah, tell me, please, um, when, then, music-wise, when did you actually start to do music? Was it very early childhood? What, how did it happen that you got into music? Um, as a hobby, I started when I was 12, I think, or 11 with classical guitar. And I played a few years of classical guitar. And then I had a, uh, I didn't really like the way it was taught, it wasn't really for me because it was very uh, institutional. You had exams at the end of the year and all that. So it wasn't always very fun. And then I, I had a great teacher in a kind of um, um, like a nonprofit, uh, the little town nonprofit that, that uh, showed me how to play uh, Stones and the Beatles and things like that on the same classical guitar. So that opened a whole new door. Mm -hmm. And then I bought an electric guitar, and then I had different bands um, in high school and things like that. And then I started uh, doing some recordings and started playing in what we call a cafe concert in Paris a lot. What's so, that I, about, Eric? What is it? What is this? Tell me the more. The cafe concert is the uh, the there's a whole circuit of cafes where you can play, uh, you know, more more songs and acoustic stuff. So Live started, music, okay. Yeah. And then I had a friend who lent me a studio and ended up doing a first record thanks to another buddy who was a producer called Alain Gandhi. And that was in 2006. So I'll just fast forward everything. But, um, and then I had a first record and, uh, and then decided to move to the States with that first record. But I've also, I worked in different record companies before that. At the time, I was very lucky, worked in radio stations and was also did uh, some, um, uh journalism as a music journalist and all that so but since i moved to the states i'm a full-time musician since 2006 so i take care of all my own as an independent musician so since then i've done six records several eps all self-produced all uh with the help of uh, my fans through kickstarter campaigns mm -hmm. and i've toured mainly on the west coast louisiana quebec and in france too a few times very impressive, Eric. The impressive oh, the way that, that you, but first of all, I was impressed with the, with the amount of records you've done, like six albums. It's a very good library now to have. And um, then the secondly, as I just got out of you, you're not only a musician, you kind of run your own business as well, aren't you? Because you know, you know, radio, you have a good experience in radio and record studios as a journalist. So this is actually a competency which you need now to be an, an independent musician, isn't it? Exactly. And uh, the, um, I mean, I, I was lucky to be in the right time, the right place when I did that. Uh, and I think uh, I learned a lot, but it was also at the time Unfortunately, I'm old enough to know the pre-internet world, so it was the time of CDs and all that before, uh, and internet was just starting, you know, MySpace and all that, um, when I was working for record companies. So, you know, you also had, I also had to learn a lot because there's no choice. Nobody's going to do it for me. No. So I have to learn how to do it, educate myself and, and try stuff. And, uh, yeah, it's. And tell it's, me if you would have a choice now, Eric, not to do it yourself and give it to somebody else to do it, would you, or would you still stay independent? That's interesting for me. That's a very good question. Um, I think the question I ask myself more and more is, I think it's good to be independent and it's good to know how things work, uh, and to, do it yourself to some extent, but I also think the danger is you spend more time doing marketing and trying to find gigs and marketing yourself than actually working on your craft and the music. And I think now with streaming and all that, it's getting even worse because you have to produce a quantity of uh, music, which is way higher than it used to be. And I think the quality is going down. I'm not sure about that. And I'm curious what other artists think about it, but I think the more time you spend on your marketing and all that, the less time you spend on your music and the less the craft of the music is good. So to answer your question, uh, at this point, I would probably try and like to work with 
with somebody who can help me with that. Mm -hmm. Not meaning that I lose total control of it. And I mm -hmm. just, it's just about finding the right people interested. But, but if as a songwriter, you forget, you don't forget how to write songs, but you don't work on your craft of writing songs and improving your songwriting and all that. Um, I think after a while too, it's, it's, you know, the, you hear it in the songs and in the craft. So the quality of the music basically. So I think it's a balance. That needs yeah. To but that balance is the kind of secret of life, isn't it? It applies yeah. to everything in, in life. I'm just listening to you because it's so much what I do as well. And I face the same thing, Eric, because I noticed lately that business, business part of my brain actually started kind of to take over the creative because you, as you said we have to do so much and hard to get anybody to do stuff for you because it's not a big money and that time when you were younger as you mentioned record studio cds there was some people that time when they do music for for pleasure not for not for money and now it's kind of disappearing i, I see less and less people just do it because of the fun you know of music that's very true uh but it, is it is it that is it harder to make money with music nowadays too uh, that's the whole true. question that's true and may, maybe it is better to just keep music for fun i mean radiohead is not releasing a song every week or every month on spotify i mean there's a lot of very you know iconic artists that are also you know taking their time to do quality stuff and i think what the other big question this is getting very philosophical but is you know what is rare now what has become rare and not disposable and just so that's another question of mm -hmm. I don't, it's important to um, I don't know. I, I think it's a new world. Maybe it'll balance itself out afterwards too, where not everything's going to come out on streaming platforms. I don't know. We'll it's, see. It's, it, it's good in many ways that you can produce music cheaply with computers now, and you know that you don't have to go in a studio where you 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 spend a fortune every day, and that you can record a lot of stuff. That, that I think that's really good. But then also, what what's become rare and unique is 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 important. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely agree. I don't Eric, have the answer. <laughs> no, I thought you have. That's why I called you. <laughs> I said I call Eric and Eric, Eric, let me know what's happening. Uh, if somebody has the answer, tell <laughs> the guy in the sky, I'd say, might be have an answer, really, yeah, but it's yeah. not us. <laughs> Listen. Merci, 
monsieur de ne pas toucher non. Merci monsieur De ne pas toucher I want to know about I know six albums anyway. What are you promoting? Are you promoting your new album now, aren't you? Yes. So what happened with the new album, which was interesting too, is that I was supposed to go in studio to do it. Uh, first in Los Angeles, then it didn't work out, then in Portland, and then the whole pandemic hit. So we couldn't go in studio with studio musicians. Um, and then a buddy of mine in Paris said, well, we could try and do it remotely. Mm -hmm. So you record in your in your home studio in Portland guitar and vocals, and he adds some drums, bass, keyboards, arrangements, and uh, see where it goes. So we started doing that. Finding. So you don't you don't it actually remotely. It's, it's happening very often. I recorded two yes. albums, my two latest albums, all through remote musicians, not actually live in the studio. Oh, that's awesome. All that I do it for the yeah for the last I think four years because uh, financially it's much better and uh -huh, the quality uh -huh. is amazing. It so is. So I, I record my vocals in here at home on the farm in the middle of the farm. Oh, that's <laughs> and great. Everything, everything else comes then from UK, America, a few countries anyway. Oh wow! And so do you always work with the same musicians then? Um, yeah, mostly. Sometimes we use the other music, but not necessarily. I'm kind of this sort of a uh, girl, Eric. I love to collaborate. I love, that's why I started this project as well, because I really miss collaboration, like well, work with lots of different musicians, try different music styles. That's why I find you very interesting as well, because I sing in two okay. languages as well, English and Russian, you know? And you do French and English. So anything like that, you know, my attitude, Eric, we were talking about all this. Um, probably we shouldn't do this. You, we can't really do music for business anymore. If we can, it's good. But if we can't, at least we can try to have as much fun as possible. That's yeah, my that's goal true. anyway. That's very true. Yeah, I agree. You know. Coffee tastes so bittersweet, exactly like my pain I'm sitting in the coffee shop, abandoned once again I watch the people laugh and chat, they try to make new starts Nobody cares about us and our broken hearts Crowded places, lonely faces 
pieces, tired paper, full of pretenses, give her loan, go within a whisper sometimes, louder than a scream. I'm soaking in blue skies I'm in the middle of the world I'm reaching up my heights It is amazing that in here I never feel alone My soul with me My smile with me And all my troubles gone Crowded places Lonely faces Tired people Full of pretenses Get alone I just want to let people more, know more about first of all what is the name of your album so it's called view question mark so v i e u x and question mark which is view means old in french but the question mark is important uh the concept of the album I, i had it because i had a discussion with a friend two years ago now and um we came to the conclusion that we we're kind of stuck between the baby boomers my generation, I'm born in 73, stuck between the baby boomers and the millennials and, the, and even now the younger generation. So we knew a world before internet, but then at the same time, we really have to adapt with the world with digital and internet and all that. So that's why it was kind of a little pun of thinking, are we old, question mark, you know? And so that was the, the themes of the songs on the record kind of explore that. that and are they in English or in French? They're all in French on that one. Be all in French. No, 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 sorry. no, there's two songs in English. And tell me, what's your auditory? You said you had a campaign anyway to uh, raise the funds for your album. So, I mean, if you sing in French, do you have the listeners in America or it's in France? How do you um, advertise the music? So the mo most people are in the US and most people are places where I toured in the US. So Portland, a lot, Oregon, West Coast. A little bit in Louisiana and Quebec, and it some... works. It works in French. Like they listen to music in that. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a really? lot of people that love French music here. I mean, it's a it's a niche. Don't get me wrong. We're not on a you know top forty radio thing mm -hmm. at all. But there's a lot of francophiles that like uh, like okay. French culture and all. It's actually more American people interested in French culture than uh, than French people because it's not interesting. That's people. very interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, and they're very supportive, and it's a lot of people. I, 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 before the pandemic, I used to do four to five gigs a week too. So you know, you meet a lot of people and mm -hmm. and and try to get them to connect, and if they're interested, and through a mailing list and all that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. and some and people like to learn French French lyrics too, and all that. So they like with music, you know, to so use that to learn French. 
Great, that's great. So you released the album, Eric, and like, what's the plan now? What are you going to do? Are you going to try to get into live singing again? Or what, what, what's the plan with the music? Uh, that's a good question. What I did is I released the album first on CD and download. Mm -hmm. And then I waited six months releasing one song and one video per every two months. Mm -hmm. And then uh, now it's available on streaming. And then I got one more video I'm, uh, we just filmed that we need to edit that's going to be released in September. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I was going to plan on touring, but I don't think I'm going to tour, honestly, because the way things are shaping it up here for touring, it looks like it's going to be kind of complicated. Not yet, anyway. Whole, mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole variant and all that. So yeah. um, I don't know. I'm probably. We'll see. We'll, well I'm probably going to start recording more music, I think. That's what I'm going to Well, end that, that's when comes the time to be creative, Eric. Exactly. Time, time, time to write more music and accumulate the material. like yourself and myself i was looking at artists in here in ireland if uh, the artists who don't write music and who was dependent only on live gigs they really really suffered because when it's all stopped the kind of nothing to do which you and me were like i said Phew, now i have time to do my stuff finally because i didn't have a time for the last whatever seven years so and you don't the same i think it's like you have to look at the positivity of every situation send you for That's some true. reason isn't it every situation yeah, yeah. in life so 
that's great and um, I, I really i'm very i really find you fascinating eric and like very talented i love your music oh, that's I, very nice thank you i listen to it and um I'm, i'll try to um introduce your music to many people in here but tell me if people want to buy uh, for example real cd or read about you where where the first they should go well my website that's the best ericjohnkaiser.com okay and and that is centralized to everything uh, it has all the links to the my band camp store or there's you can buy cds on the on the website too if you want and there's also all the streaming platforms and all that and you can also sign up to my mailing list uh, if you want to get some free uh, exclusive music and i also i do about one video a month and i'm i'm starting to do more themed streaming concerts too mm -hmm. um so which the platform mailing list, do you use eric for that uh i use restream and then mainly on youtube okay but i like Rest I, I started with obs it was good but it's a bit technical especially when you're on your own so mm -hmm. restream is a good option the paid version the the basic plan is makes things very simple okay uh, and i i like it and then usually youtube i like youtube because it's pretty um stable as so you, have to, a, you have a YouTube channel, people can subscribe to you and that's yeah, yeah. the way you... And then all the links are on my website too, but if you okay. search, yeah, and, and I'm on all the social media. I'm also on Patreon that I like a lot, that I, I use Patreon a lot. I don't know if that's popular in, in Ireland. Or no, not. I'm told all the time that I should use it. I never actually even looked at it yet. I have to start to have a look at it too. It's a subscription website. A lot of people do podcasts and things like that. Use it. It's good. It's people who create regular content. Okay, great. Eric, listen, um, before we go, because before I say bye bye, what's your favorite song on this album? Uh, on my, on my, my album. On your album. Your oh, favorite. Thanks. Your it's favorite funny. baby. Probably en réseau, out of touch, because um, I wrote that song on it when doing a canoe trip in Quebec where there was no cell service. And it was the song is about getting out of touch in an area where there's no cell service and kind of rediscovering life a bit that way. And we did a really cool music video with a, a guy in India who did a, a little Muppet uh, video with a, a skeleton. And uh, he did an incredible job. So I had a lot of fun doing that project. He even put a life jet vest on a skeleton, which is pretty Fabulous. ironic. Well, we're going to end up our program with this video. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Favorite video. Very Je 
côté Pour me sentir vivant Vivant Encore un peu plus Mon fardeau Comprenez bien mes amours Que vous quittez quelques jours C'est juste pour Pour me sentir vivant Thank you so much for your time, darling. And, Massive. Uh, anytime, anytime, anything you come up, um, please don't hesitate. Come back to Larissa, and we will chat again. And Sounds we'll good. Thank you time. very much. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Now. <laughs>